Does your digital painting look too digital or plasticky? And you want to make them look more like traditional style oil paintings? Well then, you're in the right place. The tips and techniques you'll learn from this video will enable you to add the painterly look to your digital painting and make them look less digital. Hello what's up peeps, this is the Geek Artist back again with another video and today I'll be sharing 8 simple tips to help you make your digital paintings look more painterly like traditional oil paintings. But first, let me start off by saying that there's absolutely nothing wrong with a painting that has obvious signs of being created digitally on a computer. Some of the most renowned artists in the film, animation and gaming industries make digital illustrations. Take a look at the works of artists like Frank Zhu, Goro Fujita, Noah Bradley, Aaron Limonek, Cedric Paraverne, Simon Salenhag, Spath, Loish, Art Germ, and Marco Bucci, just to name a few. All of them have distinctly unique styles, and yet all of them use the digital medium to create their art. Some of them even emulate the traditional painting look in their works. Yes, believe it or not, this is all digital. It's not an actual oil painting. It's one of my favorite artworks of Greg Rutkowski and his oil painting brush set is probably the best out there. You can support this artist by buying the brush pack and it's totally worth every penny. I put the link to his brushes in the description down below or you can grab the starter brush pack which he is giving out for free. Links also in the description. All of these artists have very strong traditional painting backgrounds and extensive knowledge of art basics and fundamentals, coupled with the years of practice and experience. It is quite natural that most seasoned artists opt for the digital medium, even though they come from traditional background, mainly because it's faster, cleaner, and easier to edit when clients request revisions. In addition to all these efficiency and convenience that the digital medium provides, it is also possible to make paintings look realistic with bold brushwork and textures, what some people call a painterly look. If you want to achieve the look of a traditional painting in a digital canvas, there are a few things you can do and core concepts you should know. From this video, you'll learn about a few practices and habits you can follow to create digital paintings that emulate the look of traditional oil painting on canvas. Tip number one, study and follow the traditional process. When you work with traditional paints, you learn a lot about the craft of painting in general and eventually develop a distinctive personal style. When translating this on a digital software, you can start by staining the whole canvas a dark gray or neutral colors. A very essential practice here is to follow the same steps and procedures a traditional artist follows when working with real paints on a canvas. Then do a quick gesture sketch and scrub in additional washes of local color to block in the big forms. Tip number two, limit the use of undo and eraser. To achieve an organic and traditional feel in digital painting, it's important to avoid excessive reliance on undo and eraser tools. Emulate the approach of traditional artists. Embrace imperfections and view occasional mistakes as a part of the creative process. Instead of undoing or erasing, try simply painting over the mistakes if needed, encouraging deliberate and confident brushstrokes. By treating digital painting as a physical medium, You'll think more carefully about each stroke and value. Embrace imperfections, allowing natural irregularities to add authenticity and charm while avoiding overly smooth and uniform strokes. Tip number three, work with very limited layers. Emulate the traditional artist's approach by working with minimal layers or ideally just one layer. Multiple layers can be a safety net but they limit adventurous and expressive brushwork. Painting on a single layer promotes a problem-solving mindset and enhances the traditional look of your artwork. Now before I move any further, I'd like you all to join my art club community where we are building a vibrant, engaging, inclusive, collaborative and supportive hub for artists. 
You can either join my WhatsApp channel or my Discord server, or you can join both if you want. The link to join are in the description down below, as well as in the pinned comment. We already are a community of over 130,000 subscribers and together we can make a huge difference in the art community by helping and supporting each other, collaborating, learning and growing together. Take part in fun art contests and events, get timely updates about upcoming videos, streams and exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks, discuss hot topics, share resources, showcase your work and appreciate each other to valuable critique and feedback. Let's build an amazing artist community where we all can let our crazy and creative imaginations run wild and take our art skills to the next level. Click on the invite links in the description and the pinned comment to join the Discord and WhatsApp communities. Hope to see you all there. Now coming back to the topic of the day. Tip number 4. Avoid using effects. Applying special effects like a soft glow around the light source is easy in digital softwares like Photoshop using layer effects like overlay. However, be cautious of creating an artificial digital look by relying on even gradients, smooth color blending, soft round brushes and flat fill colors. Instead, explore the use of streaky and textured brushes for more versatility. Avoid excessive use of selections, fills, gradients, too many layers, automated actions, color adjustments, and blending modes. When painting a soft glow, select colors from the on-screen picker and employ different textured brushes with carefully controlled values based on surrounding colors. Rather than relying solely on a soft round brush, take a look at this example to compare a digital approach with a traditional approach. Tip number 5. Work with a controlled color palette. To achieve color harmony, study limited palettes of past masters and pre-select a range of colors for your digital palette. Avoid directly sampling colors from the photos or reference as it hinders learning. Engage your brain in the intuitive color selection process. Prioritize creating a compelling painting that reflects your artistic sensibilities rather than replicating exact colors from reference photo. Emphasize convincing values of light and dark for a realistic outcome. Tip number 6. Avoid zooming in too much. For a traditional and painterly style in digital painting, maintain a zoomed out view of the whole artwork whenever possible. This emulates the distance maintained by oil painters and promotes composition unity. By observing values and colors in relation to each other, you can achieve better color harmony. Avoid excessive zooming in on small areas to prevent overworking details. Instead, focus on the larger picture and avoid prioritizing minute details. Point number 7. Incorporate textures. Creating visible canvas weave or paper grain enhances the illusion of using real materials. When painting with real brushes on a rough surface, the paint adheres inconsistently, resulting in unique strokes. These imperfections contribute to the character and traditional feel of the painting. Programs like Photoshop allows you to easily replicate the tactile quality of traditional brush on canvas by applying canvas textures to any brush. If you have a licensed version of Photoshop, you can access natural looking brush sets designed by Kyle Webster through Adobe Creative Cloud. Additionally, you can create and customize your own brushes for greater control over the appearance of your paintings. Note that if you use the same textures everywhere on every brush show, it can become monotonous and repetitive, which will give it away as digital. So experiment with different brushes and different textures throughout the same painting. Tip number 8. Create edge variations. Don't obsess over clean lines and smooth edges. Creating interesting and varied edges is crucial in digital painting. Emulate traditional artists by manipulating edges with textured brushes, overlapping shapes, leaking and bleeding colors to achieve a more painterly look. Incorporate both soft and crisp edges for visual contrast. Limit using digital tools as much as possible to reflect traditional material limitations. If you follow these steps, your digital painting will be more of a reflection of you and your traditional skills rather than the software. Here's one last quick comparison of the same painting in digital look and traditional look. 
if you're still watching this video then by now you know the eight tips that you can apply to your digital paintings and make them look more traditional and painterly i hope you liked this video and got to learn something new and if you did don't forget to like share subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications about my future uploads so that's all for now see you on the next one peace